up is press the game. I want to show you the earnings for my survey apps and the different apps that I use. And I probably will be using more, but these are some that I've just been using for the month of June and May, but the end of May and the beginning of June. And so let's look at them. I want to show you probably different clips of the different apps. So let's see with surveys, you try different surveys and you see which one works for you and you create a system that works for you and if one isn't paying you just go on to the next one and so let's start at the top okay so let's start at the top okay so I guess the best survey app would be branded surveys and as you can see they pay decent you know 14 well it I guess about every it depends on the effort that you put in and also the amount of service that they offer and one thing about branded surveys is it can be a sort of a competition you can look at it as a competition because you can earn extra money just from completing the surveys and so with branded surveys they have different levels on the uh, on the website and on a website that you can complete and earn extra money and so I believe I got up to the gold level and on that level I earn about a 15 percent 15 percent of whatever I earn for that week and so I believe one time I earned twenty dollars and then on Sunday I got a bonus payout of two dollars just to start the week off with two dollars for my next week and I liked it and so that's a pretty good app branded surveys sometimes survey apps are up and down so you can't really base everything off of that and you have to decide for yourself which app you're going to use or which app is working for you. Different areas and different surveys offer different things. And so take that into consideration. Surveys on the go. I guess it's location based. Those are decent. They, uh, they have pretty good surveys. I like them. It just it's just sometimes hard to get the payout, but when you get it, you get it, you get it quick. That's what I like about pretty much most of them. You get the money quick once you reach the minimum. So let's talk about the minimum amount you need before payout. So branded surveys, you only need five dollars for payout. You can pay out to PayPal and various different payment options. Surveys on the go. You need ten dollars to cash out. Opinion outposts. You need ten dollars to cash out. You can cash out, believe fifty points, which is five dollars, and you can get an Amazon gift card, which you can use that five dollars and put that towards a payment on Amazon. It'll just take five dollars off whatever you want. That's pretty cool. Marie, Maru Springboard America, that you have to get fifty dollars. I mean, the surveys are awesome. They're simple. They're amazing. They're not too crazy. The structure is wonderful, but you probably you have to put a lot of time in. And so you create a system. It can work. You see, I'm at eleven dollars. Have to get all the way up to fifty dollars. So I got a long way to go. And even on my other video. I believe that this is a small savings account and so even once you reach fifty dollars you may want to consider just keep going don't stop at 50 keep going but I believe you can only cash out at cash out in increments of 50 but keep going click worker is very value variable variable payments like you can't even you can't predict the amounts on click worker all you can do is work on click worker stay consistent I know because people don't understand consistency but stay consistent with click worker and you're gonna be okay let's see 
YouTube. YouTube. Um, this is an amount that I can probably get every month. Probably get more. But the key with YouTube is to stay consistent. Help people around the world or anywhere. The key with YouTube is to help people. Help as many people as you possibly can. Become a helper. Show love. Show appreciation. Show care. Be honest. You know, think outside the box and just help people. And that's what I'm trying to do.